Okay, so moving on to question eight. What is the molecular formula of vinegar? Okay, so vinegar can also go by acetic acid. And it can also go by ethanoic acid. In the case of ethanoic acid, it can help us identify what kind of structure um, vinegar has. So the fact that it has a prefix of eth uh, means that its parent chain will contain two carbons. And also the fact that it ends in oic acid uh, means that it also contains a carboxylic acid. So now that we know these two things about ethanoic acid, I'm going to draw out the two carbon chain. And then I'm also going to show that it contains a carboxylic acid group. And then since carbon needs three bonds, or four bonds, sorry, uh, I drew out three bonds to hydrogen and the other carbon. Okay, so this is the structure of acetic acid. And to write out its molecular formula, it can be like written in different ways. But the main way is just to write it as CH3COOH, just so that we can clearly see um, that there's a carboxylic acid group. Another way to write it out um, as if it were called acetic acid is to draw it like this. but both formulas would be considered correct. So let's see what our junior tutor said. The vinegar that we usually use in our house is just a solution. It is a mixture of 3% ethanoic acid. Therefore, what we are referring to here is the ethanoic acid or simply acetic acid. Acetic acid is HC2H3O2 and remember that it came from an anion acetate, which is C2H3O2. In organic chemistry, it is usually labeled as ethanoic acid, which is in the form of CH3COOH. Okay, so the solution is correct. Thank you.